Today we'll be trying to do a repair on this 60-inch uh, LG TV 4K. It was a lightning strike, and I think the board that controls the uh, HDMI TV tuner component, uh, audio out, all that, the, it, the board that controls everything on the port side is out. The controller for the LCD is okay. We're not getting any... Uh, lines on the screen or anything like that and we are in the power is turning on so let me show you what's going on as you can see uh, we're getting checkerboarding definitely a bo uh, issue with the board here you see me, uh, I have the TV laying down. I do have a blanket underneath it folded up, so it's pretty thick to protect the screen. And to get to the back of the TV, all I had to do was remove the legs and remove these bottom screws right here. These side ones on both sides and the top and the back just came right off. Here you see the back of the TV off and... You see three boards right here. This is your power supply. We know that's not a problem because the TV comes on and off normal. This board right here controls the screen. And since when we turn the TV on, the LG logo pops up with no lines or no artifacting there, we know this board is functioning properly. Here is the problem. And this is the board that controls your component, HDMI, USB, TV tuner. And uh, when we turn the TV on and we get to the TV tuner, HDMI ports component, we get that checkerboarding. And no matter what you plug into the TV, you get no picture. Here is a closer look at the board that is bad. And I wanted to go over the connections a little bit on this board. Uh, the connections that go here and here are ribbon cables. They're really thin and you got to be very, very careful when you pull them out. There's little tabs right here that you just fold up, as you can see right here. And they literally just come right out. You just got to be really careful. This uh, connector right here has like a little tab on it. And on none of these connections you want to pull on the cable because the cable can actually come right out of the end. And all I did is took a little uh, regular screwdriver just gently pulled up on this tab right here and this and this uh, cable came right out this has where you squeeze these two and you grab the connector with your hand I did and I you just pull out real gently and it comes right out same thing here it has a tab comes right out and this bottom one right here is the exact same one as this one right here here I'm going to show you a video of the TV working but I must First, apologize for the horrible video quality. Um, the lighting in the living room is awful. And I took this with my cell phone, so you'll get the gist of it. You'll be able to see the TV working. No more checkerboarding. And uh, all that was wrong was was the board that I showed you in the last clip there. Uh, and what I did is I found the part number, went on eBay. First, what I did is I went on uh, Google found a couple places that did have the part but they was not in stock so I ended up finding it on eBay and I went it in auction and installed it and everything else works so let me just show you the video here I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video and if you do like the content in the video or any of my other videos I have on the channel, please subscribe. Thank you again.